All right, good afternoon, everybody. I'm out here checking out the garden. Uh, looks like we got gold star squash that's up. Um, I planted another one in the back there, but it did not come up. So let's check out the rest of the garden. Collards gone to seed. Still got a few flowers left to put out seeds. Um, been having rain. I think it's going to rain tonight by the way the clouds are looking. Look at that blackberry plant. It's actually got some bloom on it already. So, it's a little early. Um, but yeah, that's going to be exciting. Blackberries. Those are the only ones I see. Yeah, and some more seed pods. This is the yellow cabbage collard. It's got flowers as well. As soon as these are done, then it'll be full of seed pods. They look like little uh, green beans, but see from the indentions in them, those will actually be seeds. So I've got gonna end up with a ton of seeds but they probably won't dry out until summer end of summer so I don't think I'm gonna be able to use these pots at all and hopefully the animals won't get to them before I get a chance to actually harvest some seeds down here ended up with one kale plant that made it from last year from those um, burpee uh, kale seed pods and I've got some in the other bed that are just starting to come up all right so this is kale storm blend that's the name of it so got one cluster here so we've got two both of them I only put two down there and they both came up and then in the back we have the diamade cucumber I planted two of those and they both came up so man 100% germination uh, we've got the strawberry plant it's still flowering And it's got baby strawberries on it. Hopefully the birds will let me get them. And back here. Now, I had that pot sitting in this pot, which has a rose plant to it. I actually had two, one in that one too, that I had brought from a Johnny... Perkins somebody somebody and uh, neither one of them have done anything I pulled the other one out but neither one of them did anything uh, so this one I haven't been able to pull out because of the strawberries now these are just the runners from that one strawberry that's in that pot this one here was actually just one strawberry plant and it put out runners and so that's what we've got one here we've got one here got one here and then there's a small one here and another one here so it's one two three four five off of that one plant so and I actually do have a nice size strawberry right there try to tuck that back in I've got these here to kind of deter the birds from coming up here and trying to get them so 
Just gonna leave that like that. And last but not least, asparagus. This is what it looks like if you let it get too far. The asparagus fern. See the tip still kind of look like asparagus. There we go. So yeah, that's what's growing outside. I got some worms that just got in the mail. So got some worms from Uncle Jim's. Uh one reason is to help amend this soil. Still kind of having issues with it. I know it doesn't look clean, but I did this, um, got some worms last year, and I covered it, and I put this uh, cardboard down to help keep the weeds down, along with some tarps, and they worked fairly decent. I know it might not look like it, but this bed is bad because of tree. So it drops a lot of stuff. That's exactly what that is there. From this one tree. And uh, so, yeah, I got the worms for that. Also for fishing so I can have my own fishing worms. So, yeah, that's it. Doesn't look like much, but I've got stuff in the house growing, tomatoes and stuff. So, like when I get get them out here, you know, it would make the garden look a whole lot better. <laughs>